Welcome students. The goal of this video is to learn how to, uh, in Fusion 360, how to model an ergonomic handle. So you can see the demonstration model I have on the screen. This could be um, the handle for anything. This could be, the, let's just have a look at some pictures. This could be a handle for uh, these devices here. You can see a sim similar shape there. It, this, the same technique could be used to model the top of a uh, walking stick or like I have in this model here, it could be um, used something like a Stanley knife. So you can see the hole at the end there. So ergonomic being uh, the science of just designing something to fit the human body. So this has been designed with the finger grips and the roundness. You can see the light reflecting off how, how round this, this object is. Um, this has been designed ergonomically to fit the human hand. We can't do this kind of modeling just in your normal sketching and extruding, we have to use the sculpting, sculpting feature of Fusion 360 to get all these beautiful little freeform shapes coming in. Okay, so let's start a new model. I'll just go up here. And the first thing we're going to do is bring in our, um, our canvas. So I've sketched this already, and I'm going to bring in that sketch so then I can um, use that as a guide to how to model this to how exactly how I wanted my design to be. So we're gonna do that by going to insert and then attach canvas. It's gonna ask me which plane I want to attach the canvas to. So I'm just gonna select that plane and then I'm gonna select this feature here to browse to the right picture. So there's the, yep, that's the picture I've drawn already on graph paper. That's exactly what I want to model. So that's a 2D view from the side, that's what we want. And I'm gonna bring it in. And the first thing I'm worried about is, is that the right height? Is this the right size? So when I've scanned that picture and brought it in, did it get the right scale? So straight away, I can see the, the canvas function has come in in your tree. So over here, I'll just get a better view. Let's go to the side, just zoom in a bit. If I, and, there's, and there's the picture and it's even called ergonomic handle. If I right click on that, I can choose the calibrate. So calibrate being to adjust something to a certain scale or to a certain measurement, calibrate. So I choose calibrate and I know from when I um, drew this model that from about that point to about that point was about was 140 millimeters. And you can see on the screen now, at the moment, it's only 15. So I'm gonna change that to 140, hit enter. Let's zoom out. And I know that now, if I was to copy this picture in my modeling, I'm going to be getting the right size. So that's really important. Okay, just hit the home space. Now that I have this, I am going to enter the sculpting space. So uh, this will be this feature up here. So create form and it's saying you're entering the sculpt environment. Yep, great. And just give that a second and, and we're in. So you can see up here, the features start to change. Now, um, to start sculpting, I need a basic shape to start with. And I'm up here, you go to create. I've got a few different um, um, shapes I can use. I'm just going to use the first one, which is box. Click the box. I'm going to click the face I want and just draw out my box like that. And you can see the measurements coming up. So let's put in the 140 again. Um, and then let's make it 45 high. Uh, 45 and I'll hit enter there and there's our box and you can see it's got um, a number of faces along the box a number is, is broken up into a lot of number a lot of different um, lines and faces and we we need all those different segments to push and pull this into the shape that we want what you'll notice now though is um, the handle sort of going this way and the box is going this way. So we can still adjust our canvas. So just right click on the canvas and go edit canvas. And just using the rotate, I'm gonna rotate it there and push it up a bit. And that's probably a lot better now. So I can still go back to editing my canvas just to get it into the right shape. And now we can start modeling. So to start modeling this bit of clay, we got, we've got a few options. We can either grab faces uh, and go right click, edit form. 
and I can pull pull out these faces as I like. I just hit escape, not do that. I can grab in points like that and do the same thing. Or we can grab lines and do the same thing. So that's our three options. And if we use the shift key, we can grab multiple faces and move them out. But what's happening, if I just look from the top, um, if we just go back to that previous model, it's symmetrical and we want to keep that symmetry. So, yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to undo this. And before we start modeling, I'm going to tell it to be uh, anything I do on this side to do on the other side. So I'll just hide my canvas while I do this. So that's in the symmetry function here. And we want to go mirror internally. And it's just going to say, uh, please select the side. So I've, I've chosen um, a face either side of that center line. And it gives me this um, preview here saying, is that right? And I say, yes, okay. So that was mirror internal. So now if I just give another example, if I edit form there, and if I just look to the top, you can see that's happened on both sides. I'll just undo that. Okay, let's start modeling our shape. And this might take a while, so I might, um, you might find the video goes in and out as I just do different, different features. So bring back your canvas. And the first thing I'll do is bring down, no, I might just start here. So if I edit form there, and make sure you grab the arrow. Now that's gone up by 10, I can see there's probably too much. So I'm just gonna type in eight. Now I might try seven. Beautiful. So you can see we've started modeling our first shape already. Oh, now I might lower. So I'm gonna use the shift key now and select multiple edges. Oop, select the face. And this will take some practice. And edit form. Oh, make sure you grab the arrow. That's what it was. And there we go. So that's not a bad start there. Uh, now, you can rotate around, and I'm going to grab this line here. And you can see it says I'm also grabbing the other line over there because it's in symmetry. Um, and what can, can we bring that one in? There we go, it's not bad. You can also rotate that feature there. Wonderful. Now I might do this one several times just to, actually I might do it from, yeah, I'll keep that point. Okay, so I've just did that one twice to make sure I get it into place. And I'm gonna hit okay. So like I was saying before, if you don't feel you need an extra line, you can always just uh, select the line like that, modify insert edge. So it's saying, do you want one here? You can adjust the values there and you can hit okay. And now I can use that intersection point that I've just created to do more edit form. Great. Okay, now I wanna go back here. I'm not entirely happy with that one. And I think we need an extra line in the middle there. So I'll just hit okay. And then why that line's selected, I'll just say modify Insert edge. No, I want it to just get rid of that. No, that's probably too far. So I'll change that value to negative 0.5. Yeah, that's pretty good. 
So now that I've got that new value there, Yep, and now I just need to adjust the other side. So there's a bit of trial and error getting the shape that you want. Okay, so I've, it's still looking quite boxy on, on the sides here. So let's grab... Let's grab a heap of edges along the edge here. And I'll just it's looking a lot that's looking a lot uh, rounder, a lot more ergonomic. Let's turn my canvas off. And you can see that's a pretty good start in building building our ergonomic handle. Uh, when we want to finish and go back to the modeling space, we just hit it finish form up here and you can see those lines automatically disappear. Now, if we go back to my original model, you can see I've then added some features in the modeling space after I've got my form. So I've added this hole here to go through the center there. I've added some text and I've added this hole at the end. So to do that, let's do that hole at the end. So I'm gonna click my origin light so I can see my origins. And there's my three planes that I started with, but I want a new plane up here. So I'll go construct offset plane and we'll start a new plane way out here. So then I can start sketching in front of the, of the handle. Great. And I'll just put a rectangle in there. Now, when you do this, make sure you use your dimensions and make sure it's completely centered. And then I can just extrude into that shape to get um, a hole for whatever you're needing to put into um, into your handle. Now, um, so I'll just do another one. Construct offset plane. Move it out to this side. And we can start sketching on this side now. So create sketch. And I'm just going to do a circle. And obviously you'll do proper dimensions when you do your model. Looking good. Okay. So. And then I can do another extrusion. And right through, or I could change this to all. Great, and we can always add a fillet. To the hole. Okay, so just to recap on how we're able to create a shape like this, it was Insert attached canvas to bring in our sketch. Remember that we calibrated our sketch to make sure it was the right size before we started. Then we entered the, the sculpting space. Uh, we used a box to get our basic shape. Uh, and then we used the edit form feature so if you right click on any of those features and go edit form to then mold it into the shape that we wanted. Once we finished our edit form, we hit finished form. And remember, if you want to go back and edit your form, you don't select the create form there. You need to go back to your tree and edit it from there. Okay.
So that was um, how to design an ergonomic handle using the sculpt features of Fusion 360.